G'day everybody, how are you going today? Yes, I'm wearing the same red coat. It's awesome. How are you? I hope you're well, Joe. How are you? I'm great. How great are how great are you? <laughs> I'm <laughs> I'll let you know. He is still as good as he was last time he was really good, although he did tear his calf. So share with the viewers how's the calf going just quickly. Well, I'm I'm off the crutches, which great. is great. Great, great. Yep. I'm out of the moon boot. Out of the moon boot. Awesome. I'm still not able to jump on the uh, the skateboard yet because that's a lot of calf action there. Yeah. So that... you you might have wondered why we haven't done as much cruising. This is exactly the reason why we haven't done as much cruising. Yeah. Anyway, today we've got a passion conversation that we want to have, and the passion is this idea around having a much more simplified camera. So I'm going to hand over to you, Joe, to lead this one. Off you go. Tell us about what you're dreaming about. And 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 might I, before he starts, we're, we're just dreaming. Don't don't worry too much about it. You know, this isn't fanboyism. This is just dreaming. This would be for any camera manufacturer, by the way, not just the best brand, which is Nikon. <laughs> <laughs> so this is. The <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> it really is that funny. Yeah, yeah. Is it? I suppose let's have a good time anyway. Talk about your passion project. Okay. Oh, that's me. That's you. <laughs> Wrong so, guy. <laughs> so this this is for any camera manufacturer. Yeah. <laughs> so my wish, my wish, and I'm, I'm going to bring out my little prop here. It's, here we'll, it's, we'll go to the wide camera so everyone can okay, see. Okay, I'm bringing out my little prop. Yeah. Here we go. This is not a ZFC. This is actually a, uh, a Nikon FM. The reason why I've, I've brought this camera in today for a bit of show and tell is because I would like to have this camera with this, uh, with this function set and these options in a, in a, uh, in a mirrorless camera. In a Z. So let's, let, let's, uh, let's ruminate. Let's we, ruminate. Let's ruminate on the idea of having an extremely simplified. Now, you might say stills only, but I guarantee you nobody is going to make a stills only camera in 2022. It's not going to happen because just by default, it does video. It's just there. But we get it. It can be the worst video known to man. So, but, but what I'm chasing is I'm chasing a camera, a mirrorless camera that's under $1,000 with a very sharp lens and... Well, it goes by default. If you put a Z lens on there, it's, it, it's very sharp. Naturally. So, yes, naturally. naturally. Yeah. But, but what I'm saying is that I want a camera that's under $1,000. I keep choosing myself instead of you. Just uh, haven't... <laughs> uh, the muscle memory is not there. And, oh, God, I've done it again. And now, are you back? Okay. <laughs> Say it again. You want to choose. I want a camera from a manufacturer, any manufacturer that's under $1,000 with a lens that doesn't have to shoot 4K, actually no video at all. Should no, it's not going to happen. Should I, should I go through... Just get that fantasy off the table. Okay, all cameras are going to have video because they have to. Even this shoots video. It's just, no, it doesn't. Stop, it does. Stop it, being silly. You know why? Because, <laughs> <laughs> because it's one frame per... Oh, second. what you mean is you it do... shoots moving pictures but not video. Well, you could do stop motion with this. Yes. Okay. I think the emphasis is on stop. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> so walk us through your specs. Okay. Well, the specs would be that you have aperture control only in the lens. Or no. Yes. No. Because how do you use the Z lenses? Or like a lot of them have an aperture control or a, a what is it? A um a ring that you can program, programmable ring. But not all of them do, I don't think. But what I'm chasing is I'm chasing a camera that, that someone that just wants to take photos is going to be able to get into the market with a brand new camera with a beautiful sensor, 26 megapixel, 30 megapixel, 33. What, what, why I'm jumping in here is we've just got to be realistic about if, if you want Nikon to make this, you've got to work with the current ecosystem. They're not going to make a whole another set of lenses with a nice clicky aperture only okay. thing. Okay. Yep. So yep. let's let's Given. work within the current ecosystem. All I want yeah. <laughs> is all I want is revised. Yeah, all I want is shutter speed on a dial up the top. Oh. F fine as it is. I, I I don't need the wind. What I'd like is the modern ergonomics. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So I'd like shutter speed, ISO control, aperture control, color temperature, and that's it. 
nothing else. And even autofocus, I just want single point autofocus. Just a, just a, a, a nice viewfinder. Oh, an EVF. An EVF, just a nice one. Like, it, like a Z, I don't mind having something like enormous as an EVF, like a Z9's EVF. Right. But otherwise, the reason why I'd like something so basic is... Is, it, is, that, is that in order to keep up with you? Because <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand all these technical things, yeah. No, no, just at your speed. I'm joking. That's right. Keep so going, Jake. One frame per why, why do you want such a, a basic camera? Because... In, in all honesty. I want something super cheap. Ah, it's about price point. It's about price point. Okay. For people that want to get into the photographic uh, hobby. Yep. At, and... And just learn how to become a good photographer without relying on all the embellishments that a high end or a mid range or the current entry level. So, in essence, you're talking about a camera that's the simplest camera we'd probably have on the market that's actually a full blown detachable lens camera. Absolutely. But the only mode you've got is manual mode. So, no, no aperture priority, no. none of that stuff. No, manual. It, it's 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 like my K one thousand. There is no options. Or like my it's FM. There. Yeah. Okay. Does that that has that's nothing. It's got nothing. It's got nothing. It's got it's got a shutter and an aperture and that's it. There's no there's not even ISO because of course the film was the ISO. So someone has to learn how to become a good photographer. No, really. Seriously, in this day and age, they actually have to know photography. <laughs> That's what I'm chasing. But let's let's look at who this might appeal to. I think it should appeal to everybody, to be honest. Because I've always said, go back to the darkroom. A darkroom is a reverse camera yep. and learn how to expose a print and then you actually know how photography is actually working. It's so cool. Yeah, so if you're a student, a photographic student... Student of life? Student of... of yeah, we'll call it that. If you're a photographic student, then then you just want the basic... Well, the course curriculum should require you to be shooting in absolute basic mode. And in, well, of course, I mean you don't learn unless you learn. If you stick it in auto, how do you know what's going on? Well, I can tell you that I bought a camera for my son that I, I, I purchased this camera from a photographic student and he said it's a really difficult camera to use. Um, I never really got it out of fully automatic mode. When you say this camera, oh, that's the one for your son. The one for my son. Gotcha. Yeah. Never of got course. It, never got it out of auto. Of course. The first thing that I did was I taught my son how to shoot manual. Absolutely. I, I taught him about exposure, mm -hmm. and you would have, I would have expected that this this guy that had done photography at uni. Um, would have learned a little more about the equipment side of things, not just the art of photography, but the technical side of things. And all I want is a beautifully clean sensor. That's why low megapixel will work for me. And I think it'll work for a lot of people. And if it's sub $1,000 and it gets people take, going out and buying a, a camera with, let's say, a 50 mil or 55 mil lens, uh, great. What price point would you like to see this 24 to 33 megapixel, almost completely manual, no back screen, just an EVF, which is fine because you can still review through the EVF? Yep. Uh, what price would it be in US dollars? 600. So that's around 900 Australian. Yep. Single card slot. And it's full, for, it's 35 mil. 35 mil. Yep. Single card slot. Yep. Which card slot do you want? Oh, I think <laughs> CF Express Type V. <laughs> We've also been talking about other options recently. Yes, we have. And, and we'll we'll dig into that in another yes, another we, segment. Yes, we will. All right. So I'd like to sum this up. We've basically got a let, let's call it a thirty three megapixel sensor. Although I think that's too much. I mean, I was almost going to say to you, what about a twelve megapixel sensor? What about back with the D three size sensor? Because you're talking about learning photography, right? Yeah, That's yeah. what you're talking about. And half the, half the images in this room here are shot on 12 megapixels. And if it's about learning, not about, not about a deliverable, but about the experience, and you have this camera, because how I see this is that it could, all, it could also be an enthusiast's camera where it's like, 
We're going back to one frame a second. Everything's manual. It's slow, but it's got this one advantage. It's super amazing in low light. So it's awesome for low light photography, street photography, portraiture. If it if it was created to be like this, it, its superpower was, you know, low light capability. And I'm look, there's not going to be much difference between 12 and 16 or even 16 and 24, I don't think. But I think there might be some. Yeah. So give give it a give it a clear advantage, yes. like and basically go okay. Well, you can get a Z six and it's blah 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 blah. But you get the Z one. Why not Z one? And that's its superpower. Why not give it a superpower, even so it's ridiculously cheap? Because that because I would be like, I'm going to buy it just to shoot in the dark. Yep. Because it does something that no other Z camera does. If it if it's just the same as other Z cameras, as in technically not so interested but it's got a sensor i can't buy today in a z mount it's essentially got the modern version of a d3 sensor in a z mount <gasps> outrageous make it eight megapixels and actually shoot in the dark no i won't go that far i'm, I'm joking but you see what i'm saying yeah but that that would be a camera that i think a lot of people yes. would say if it's just body only and, yeah. the, and the body only is really simple five four hundred and fifty us dollars something yeah it's cheaper than a lot of memory cards i'm gonna buy that <laughs> well that's right i'm gonna buy that camera and i'm gonna take a few trips with it and, and just enjoy it i want it for me because sometimes i just want to strip back the experience of photography take away all of the technology and 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 focus on absolute image quality and sometimes, for me, when I go out and take photos, it's therapeutic. I just want to slow down sometimes. Yeah. And also, it's it's something that you could you could argue that a lot of uh, a lot of schools would purchase. Well, as you've said, it'd be a great teaching camera. Yeah, but I'd yeah. I'd be happy taking the I'd be happy taking that camera out, and I've been I've been taking photos for thirty years. Yeah. So and and I've, totally. And we've got arguably we've got the best camera that's on the market. Yep. But we would still say, gee, this is something that, that you'd, you'd buy in a heartbeat. So Nikon, I think we I, we both love the idea of this camera. It's The whole idea is that it could sort of shoot in any lighting conditions. So it would be good for students. It would be good for parties, any lighting conditions. We're not talking about action conditions. Let's not talk about autofocus. This is not where this is aimed. It would be super affordable, which means anybody could have it. And I think besides it having these ridiculous low light capabilities, it also has access to the Z mount. And that means you can use any lens from some of the simplest lenses, the pancake lenses, the beautiful, what is it, the 40 mil 2.8 or whatever it is I have, 28 2.8 or the 40 2.0, which are lovely little compact lenses through to, you know, an 800 PF. You've got access to it all. I like it. It's the Z1. We could call it a Z1. I want to. Uh... I, I I feel like I feel like all the Z cameras have to be a Z something. You don't just you, you can't just call it the Nikon Art. <laughs> Let's not call it that. The Z1. I yeah I'd go with Z1. Yep. I don't know what you were talking about with the nine S. Z nine. Oh the Z nine S. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No. Uh, no, it's got nothing to do with the Z nine. We'll call it a Z eight. Can you imagine? Oh my God. <laughs> he's he's straight up lost his mind right now. Come on, Z there's some conventions here. Yeah, okay, let's go Z1. It's the absolute entry level edition. Uh, See, it might be the absolute entry level edition, but there's places where I would pull that camera yeah. out instead of a Z9. That's the point. That's that's the genius of this idea, is that it has one superpower, which is low light capabilities and and no noise and etc cetera, etc cetera. interesting all right well let us know let's put up a poll uh would you be interested in the z1 this highly manual very affordable really a camera for everybody full frame presumably 12 megapixels is cheaper to make at this point in time i would have liked to have thought yep. if you've got a sensor that doesn't have all the high-speed focus circuitry on it and all of the other crazy stuff. Doesn't need in-body stabilization. Doesn't need any oh, of it. No, no, no. Ibis. Oh, I don't no, know. No, no, I don't no. know if I can live with that. Oh, yeah, that's, that's tough. 
but strip it back. We didn't talk about Ibis. I know. I know. Didn't sorry. talk about Ibis. Well, maybe, okay, maybe put Ibis in there. Maybe. I but feel I, like for the target audience, uh, Ibis is something required. But I feel like for your budget, it's not. I'm, I'm, I'm more worried about getting people into photography yes. than I am worried about features. And to reiterate again, this is for anybody. You know, we're we're talking in in in, in Nikon terms simply because that's what we know. But anyone can do this camera. It's there there for. I mean, Sony tried to do this with the A seven C. I think, um, and for me, it's just an ergonomic thing. Like we're talking about the fact that we still want the ergonomics to be awesome. Yeah. And the A7C wasn't like, it, it's their cheapest full frame camera, but it's not stripped back electronically like you're talking about. It's stripped back ergonomically, but it's not stripped back electronically. Yeah. And it's still really expensive. I think when it came out, it was like three grand here. So like it would have been what high eighteen hundred or two grand in the US. Very expensive, I think. For mm. but we're talking about it being four hundred US dollars or something without a lens. Well, well, let's let's talk about a, a different angle for this. Let's talk about this as something for a company like Nikon to pull people into. I get it. Uh, yeah, because if if they don't, well, they're never going to capture these people anyway has to, have, has to have video then oh i don't know it doesn't well it could have but video might just be a 1080p 12 12 12 minutes actually 12 can support 4k actually so 4k it'd have 4k just 4k at up to 30 frames per second okay well let's say something different then if it was 4k 30 frames or for us 24 frames a second if it was 4K, 24 frames a second, 12 megapixel, super uh, super good in low light, then that is, that's going to be the gimbal camera. Well, that is what the A7S III is, but that's a highly expensive camera yeah. and it does all the other crazy stuff. We're essentially saying now we've built this camera to be a similar spec, but it doesn't do all the auto stuff. It doesn't need to do anything. I I, I don't want this camera to. Yeah. We're starting to yeah. we're starting to upgrade and upgrade. Well, no, no, no. I just think it has to have video, and then by default, by default, the straight readout of pixels is 4K. Oh well, that's okay. Then. Yeah, so it doesn't have to actually work that hard. It, it's it's easier to get full frame 4K out of that than it is out of say a 24 megapixel camera. Okay. Where you've got to interpolate and bin and whatever they do. Yeah. All right. All right done settled thanks thanks for being here it's been it's been so lovely to see you hasn't it joe it's been wonderful yeah um how wonderful <laughs> at least a seven out of ten a seven how rude <laughs> ten out of ten from me see you later